my dad being a Vietnam veteran, man, vicious struggle with alcoholism. And like I said, he was a tough son of a bitch and he's been through a lot and been through some very hard times and he's also had glorious times and the best father on the planet. And I would never ask for anything else but the father I have because there is nothing comparable. There is nobody who taught me the sense of manhood better than my father. There's nobody who taught me the sense of integrity and respect than my father. There's nobody who taught me to respect elders and the special needs community more than my father. He grew up with um, a sister with spinal bifida and she was in a wheelchair since birth. He taught me all the standards of life that we need to look beyond ourselves. My mother too. They taught me the very special things in life that are beyond us. That the selfishness is non-existent when it comes to certain things. When it comes to elderly people that are sick and need help and special needs community or veterans community, those people that are struggling. And we're to a point where unfortunately, people only understand through experience. They're not willing to understand by listening. And that's the world that we live in. And that's where we're at right now. And that's just the way it is. Don't try to change it because you can't. But you can change your community, you can change your people, and you can change your circles, you can change your culture, and you can change who you want to help and who you don't. I guarantee you, the world will crucify you for being independent. I guarantee you, they will crucify you for being independent and for standing your own standard and having your own identity. The world will crucify you for it because they don't want you to be up there. They don't want that self-confidence.